Sometimes you have a home, lavi Shabbos. Shabbos is not at the center of the home. Let's just knock it off. The main thing of Shabbos is to catch up on this deprived, on the sleep that we have been deprived of throughout the whole week. You have sometimes homes, the meal, let's knock over the meal so we could jump into bed, get under the blanket with my teddy bear or with my magazine and get my sleep that I didn't get a whole week. Even if you're already having a meal, there's tension around the table. Yankee, hasta dvartaira? Yankee, you have a dvartaira? No. Why am I paying tuition $18,000? Yankee, you sit at the table for three hours. from the tish. Three hours you sit at the table, you don't budge. Even if they sit at the table, there's a tension. There's negative energy. Lav Ike Shabbos. The focal of the home is not Shabbos. Shabbos sometimes becomes a miserable day. The kids dread it, the mother dreads it, the father dreads it. Then there's others, there's no tuldus, there's no connection. You want to turn your homes into places where Iker Shabbos, where Shabbos is celebrated in the profoundest way. And sometimes you have to be creative. Don't be afraid to be creative. You have to be creative with your children. Make that Shabbos table of yours the most memorable experience for your children. If you need to prepare jokes, prepare jokes. Listen to my shiurim a whole week. If you need stories, get stories. You need to create games, create games. Make quizzes, ask questions, but put your soul into it, put your passion. Create conversation, but bond, connect, and let the energy flow. It's a time to bond with your sons and daughters. People don't realize the power of Shabbos. They sometimes utilize Shabbos meals to argue, to talk about people, to gossip about people, to put down people. Especially rabbis that you don't like. It's a great time around the gefilte fish and the chicken soup. You have here the day that's messianic. It's seize the day. Carpe diem. That was for you, David. Carpe diem. Seize the moment. See, literally, seize the day. It's already Thursday night. Because it's a home where Shabbos is everything. Shabbos, on Shabbos, you look at the children, look at the parents, they know, ah, Tati is at his best behavior on Shabbos. Mommy is a queen on Shabbos. Shabbos transforms the ambience, the atmosphere. Sometimes you have to work on this, but this is something we have to work on. And then, Tony Ovis, the Tony Tuldas. Then there's fathers, Sada Ovis, and Sada Tuldas, there's children. If there's Iker Shabbos, if Shabbos is an Iker. I see sometimes situations, people go to Shul Shabbos afternoon, and today, the Kiddush Club is very popular. So a guy once told me he comes to Shul for Shabbos, JFK, just for Kiddush. <laughs> and people work hard a whole week, so they use it as a time to escape. And they get inebriated at the Kiddush, because every person who sponsors the Kiddush has to show that he has the best schnapps. That's $15,000 bottle. That's who knows how many years old. So he comes home inebriated and intoxicated and drunk. That's not a home where Iker Shabbos plops down on the couch, he's intoxicated and falls asleep. You want to turn your home into a place where Shabbos is a time when there's a very powerful and potent warmth at the table and in the ear and in the atmosphere. And that becomes inculcated in children for eternity. A child once told me, a teenager once told me, he, he drifted far away. And then I see, he came back, I said, what happened? He tells me, I'll tell you, the varamkai, the warmth that my parents bequeathed to us at the Shabbos table, I couldn't find anywhere in the world. You can't find that. You can't find that, but for that you need Ike Shabbos. Then you have Ovis and then you have Toldos. Watch the full class at theyeshiva.net.